So what is going on dammers? My name is Mehul and welcome to your 24th Angular 6 tutorial in which we're gonna take a look at how to link front end to Mongo which we have been for which we have been doing so much of work so far. So let's get started. Alright, so we have seen that our API works with our um HTTP client that is for for Mac and for Windows Postman you can use. So now let's just implement that inside our Angular application. So here's our app. It's working nice so far. Registration and login seems to work. Now what I want to do is uh, right here um, inside my login component. If data is success, then I just want to redirect the user to dashboard and set the logged into true, else just alert. Um, our login component seems fine. We can just check this component. This performs an HTTP request to API slash login with the username and password as the JSON data. And it should return a success and a message. So we can pretty much do it right here. Our login thing should actually spawn.json should return success or false and message message right or msg that's it message is incorrect details like that we can just get rid of this as well otherwise we're gonna just send the response.json off success true and what else yep that's it so there we are and if it is correct we go to dashboard cool otherwise we just get an alert this is fine for registration what we have is uh, we get username password confirm password we check it ourselves if errors.length is zero this auth the register we are registering username and password we are subscribing again we are seeing success so we are saying this.http.post api register username and password which we get here with uh, this request.body we're creating a new user and uh, uh, we are getting it back well, what we can do here is that we can just say constant existing user is user.find1 um, email so I can just say if existing user exists that means um, you cannot basically register with that email address so I'm just gonna say response.json success is false a message is uh, email already in use and we can just return as well here Otherwise, we're going to create a new user and we're going to save that user and we're going to say success is true, message welcome, something like this. Right? And with that being done, what we have is that we, have, we are now creating the users just a response why not a message as string right here so now we can just go to just a definition here and see that we are getting data again if uh, this is success we just navigate to dashboard fair enough and we just console log the username and password which is entered by the user all right makes sense and uh, this should work probably so now if we take a look for dashboard thing what we're gonna see is pretty much nothing so I'm just gonna get that stuff from admin so we can just copy this thing inside our dashboard component and uh, with the admin file here as well we can just 
paste that thing inside dashboard and change it to dash dashboard component like that and uh, what we have is this right so we can just actually just get rid of this at once for now because um, we are not using sessions so that could not work so now if we take a look in the browser what we should see is can't resolve admin component CSS and that is because inside our dashboard we are using dashboard 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 and now if we just inspect the element login mayhul one mayhul at the rate one dot com one two three four five go to networks tab hit summit we get incorrect details okay uh, we are submitting password and username this should be email so let's just fix that real quick this should be email this should be email and this should be email as well Let it reload. Um, mayhul one at mayhul other at one dot com one two three four five. Clear summit. We get um successful login. In fact, pro review we get success true. We get a loading screen. Fair enough. All right, this works. Now I can just go to login again, and actually to register, and now I can say something like. Uh, some email at the rate gmail.com one two three one two three clear summit registration we get email already in use okay um this should assisting user dot find one okay let's just see what we are getting here existing user email and passwords hit save Let's submit this again we hit it and inside our terminal which is uh, here or where is it what's up Safe has submitted now we get oh this should be await user dot find one right now if we summit this one more time you should see that this registration is successful and we get a welcome message however if I go to register if you write username as a whole at one one two three four five one two three four five hit summit we get success false as message email already in use but if i write something like this we get success true and message welcome so um, basically our front end back end database all is ready what's left now is a little bit of ui and session so we're going to do that complete we're going to complete that thing in the next video so that's all for this one and i'll see you then in the next video and one more thing if you like this video then don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon to receive instant notifications.